Hey, 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 this is Kurt the Boat Doctor out here in this beautiful Duckworth, 28 foot offshore. Look at this. It's 28. <clears throat> Actually, if you count the offshore bracket, it's about two feet. So you figure 30.2 feet. And then the, feet, uh, the motors are another two and a half feet, but you can't count those because that's not part of the whole. Uh, and anyway, it says it's got a 121, but I think it's got a 145, if I'm not mistaken, on this. Uh, I helped design this boat back in 06. They called them Wellcraft. Ocean Kings to start with, and uh, they were the, more of the low profile front where this has got the step up. Uh, the right up here in the bow area, anchor pulpit. And they did finally go with the drop down uh, anchor pulpit with the spooled style winch. They're a little more expensive, but they're a lot better. You don't have to worry about drop boxes, uh, having enough room for the rope, tangling up, spools up, you get a lot more rope on there. And the drop down is when you drop it, that little angle like this, that helps keep, drop that anchor. If they're straight out, you almost have to get out and feed it out. And uh, <clears throat> it's 96, bottom of 250. You got 19 by 26 by 39 degree bow on this. Uh, it's about 5,700 pounds. A very nice boat. Gonna get my stuff out of here. Uh, spare tire, carrier foot jack, I like those. Uh, heavy duty safety chains, two and five sixteen gents ball. Uh, you got your top mount coupler, so about 23, 23, 26 inches from the bottom of the ground to the top of your ball. Electric brakes, I put it on about five and a half on this truck. Uh, you got rub rails, three, boom, boom, boom. Uh, you got bow rails, two go lights, uh, home psh, remote. You got three windshield wipers, four Berlin and windshield. Uh, LED uh, running lights, horns up there in the corner. And this has got the reverse chine hole. If you can see all the way back, that flat part that goes out here, that's what keeps it stable. Uh, you got four by four bunks with slicks on it. Uh, so be careful if it's real high tide and you're up. Uh, the tide's super low right now. Uh, but anyway, you may want to take one line and wrap it and wrap it around here because if it, it could just take off. That way it's, uh, your strap's gonna go with the boat and uh, have fun. Uh, I got a little scuff marks here on the side. That's probably from the jig uh, when they put them together. No big deal. You probably got a bottom paint it anyway. Uh, keel roller. Uh, the boat does not ride on that keel. That's just for protection. If you get it too deep, it doesn't hit the cross members. Uh, sliders. See, uh, tinted bathroom. You got your vent. Uh, gear bath oil hubs. Brown good. White bad. And these are the 15s brakes on every axle electric or discs uh, zinc welded on you get there when they're welded you got more contact uh, so they work better and this is this would put a 25 horse if you put it that made it long here with a quick disconnect these are the lights <clears throat> because this has got helm masters so that warns people that hey don't stand back here it's engaged because those props can start and stop uh, and we had just a little discussion on here here's the right hand Here's the left hand. These are a lot thicker. Uh, they're a lot better props. So any of these 4.2 gear cases, 3.6 and so on, you can run 15 diameter. Uh, it doesn't hear, hurt the gear case. Uh, these are a lot thicker, sharper. Uh, so they do on some boats give you more power. Now we just had this discussion. Now these 15 by 15s are gonna be perfect as far as uh, RPM wise because you're uh, 50 they say five to six thousand I say you'd never let a boat go out at five thousand but at 5500 yeah 55 to six is fine but uh, someone said uh, they wanted to go forward blade since it's a helm master uh, but go to a 21 pitch I and mean, now the only way he can do that is if he drops that diameter because there's no way a 15 by 21 unless it's flat as a pancake I mean and you maybe drop down to a 13 or 14 by 21, maybe a 13 by 21, but then you're uh, getting a lot smaller blade, so you're not getting the bite. But then with a four blade, granted, maybe on the Hellmaster, as far as slow speeds are concerned, yeah, maybe you got more thrust, maybe get you in a little faster, uh, maybe by spinning it with your controls and keeping it on plane. But this never had an issue of that or porpoising. Uh, ladder, uh, it's 2023, rear entry door, rear deck, uh, electric steer, that's the Caterpillar uh, electric steer. Uh, you can set different modes on that, for, but I normally just leave it on uh, maybe medium. 
DEC controls. You got helm master for the autopilot. That's the gauge I got to set up. There's your joystick on back. So boom, boom. You got that. You got auto trim. Uh, the only thing you don't have is I would probably put another switch for your trim tabs back here. But maybe you're not going to be driving up a planing speed back here. But if you are, it's kind of nice to have the trim tab. So if the boat leans, you can trim it instead of going up front and trimming it. Uh, gear bath oil hubs again. These are you got a stove top with a heater. That's one of the diesel vents or kerosene. I'd use kerosene if it was me. Uh, then you got one for the front, which is nice. You got the cleats where they're needed. You got the three-step ladder, which is nice. I was in a boat the other day, and it was kind of a bummer getting in the boat. But if you use this, make sure you got a pin because you don't want to step this thing can go back on you. <sighs> You got rear entry door, you got this stuff they just started using here for non-skid. And I like, hey, so what if it gets dirty? It does the job better than aluminum. And then right here, you got your wash down, that works. This is a shut off, so if you don't have this, you can shut this off because if you have it open, water is going to come in. That's your macerator pump for your fish box, and it's working. Live well, which is right here. Battery. Uh, oh, yeah, this has got short power, I think. Uh, okay, there's your batteries up underneath there. You read the ones. Okay, you got your wash down. You got your mini for your kicker with the Yamaha. These are your two for each motor underneath this shield. They're rake cores, it looks like, with the see through bowls. I'd personally next time I'd go to the Yamaha 10 microns. They got a five paper element. Most of the other ones only got two. And they do have the Preston antifreeze valve there for your pickup. Uh, so you don't like in the winter times, you can just shoot it through a Preston right there into your line. Uh, fuel tank is plastic, which is good. And let's see here. So that's your live well. There's your pump out for your fish box and these are nice where you can step down you got rear deck lights secret lace door net holder gaff you got a place for your radar fish box is right down in here then you got, here's your uh, key for your locker here's a hey, cup holder oh bonus uh, Yamaha these are not, I like see they make two they make the Optimus and then they make the Yamaha okay as far as I'm concerned for the dealer standpoint for the customer granted they're not as fast you can't set set these up as quick as you uh, I mean more power as you can the Optimus but you don't need it these will take you in it may take a second but it's amazing it will take you in and, and almost anybody can use these where the Optimus you got to be just very careful on the turns and stuff because they're because you sped up, you speed up the response time on them, and uh, I do that for you know a lot of current in the bay. So, but I, the Hellmaster is a lot better. It's more intuitive with Garmin because Garmin and Yamaha they're basically the same company now. Safety lanyard you have to have in on both places or it will not start. If these are in neutral, this one's like in gear. You go up there, you can't hit the sta uh, station button. It won't turn on solid blue. That means this is probably into. Uh, uh, gear so but you can have your gauge on here and you can see if they're in neutral or not So you want it, they got to be in neutral and this here's your autopilot for your uh, track point pattern steer uh, course hold heading hold uh, drift uh, five five degrees over uh, And then our one degree you have to hold it for like two seconds and function one functions two is like for like a pattern steer Okay, and those there are drains uh, so we put those in because say a guy parks his boat like this, then the water's gonna pool up and just stay and then work its way back. So that's why we put those in there. And you got bench seats, those flip. And then you got in here, you got your light, you got your pumps, you got your pump out, your flush. And now what they did, it made it easier. They put your le uh, lever right here for, the, for your waist. You can turn this. So you can suck it out, you can pump it out or put it into your tank. And here's your heater, boom, boom. So it's a heater here, stove top here. Uh, here's your pump, that's antifreeze. 
Boom. So that's works. Big ice chest. Uh, there's your heater. It turns that on. Storage. Uh, of course, lights work. Slider window, slider window, storage, uh, suspension seats, swivels, backrest, um, slide ahead back, cup holder, aha, wiper for the passenger. Uh, that was one of my biggest uh, complaints. So that because a poor passenger never gets to control his wiper, now they can. And then you got your V berth up into here with the cushions. Then shut that up, foot. I like that. Here's your joystick. I like it right there. It feels good. You got USB ports, Yamaha gauge, and I'll set up the autopilot when I'm out there. That's your uh, sensor for like if you had water coming in, if you're anchored out at night, that will go off. That's your mid cabin that's under here. Courtesy lights are these lights right here. Ab deck light, anchor, that's working. Nav lights work. I checked out wiper. All three. Horn. Forward bilge, center bilge, rear bilge. Key switch. Port, starboard start. Trim tabs. Uh, right here is your other remote. You got one remote for your left, one for your right. And you can always get on that step back there if you're not sure if they're off. I would personally probably like to have a switch up here on one of these accessories where I could hook into those lights so even though I powered this off I could hit that I hit a switch and it kills all power to those lights because sometimes you think you got it turned off and you don't so they're, they're on the whole day so that way you can just hit the switch and power it off okay so then right here is your mid bilge that's right here that's storage storage diesel tank right up underneath this which you get to here and it's also got a fuel gauge <clears throat> so now we're going to take her to the water and set everything up do a video for you this is the boat doctor hey we just painted the house let me know what you think you like the color it was a real dark tan see there's your deck lights so i'm going to go shut those off boom tilt wheel as well so anyway, it was more of a tan color before, and then we just painted it as cream, believe it or not. It changes colors. Got to get the moss off, though. The front of the house looks nice. So anyway, this is a beautiful boat. They're very quiet, nice riding. Okay, so this is the boat, Doctor. I'm heading to the water.